Now to the deadly bus crash involving the Farmingdale High School marching band in which two people died. We brought you the live update from investigators just moments ago and earlier this afternoon, a video showing New York State police technicians unloading much of the debris that they removed from the crash scene. Two people were killed when the bus went off the road in Orange County. Many others were injured. We have team coverage tonight. Jennifer Bisram hearing from students. Jennifer McLogan spoke exclusively to the victim's family, but we begin with Tony Aiello, who has the latest on the investigation from Middletown. Tony? Christine, NTSB investigator John Hum just spoke inside the Troop F headquarters after inspecting the bus right behind the Troop F headquarters. And we have video of that bus. It is a broken shell. It was traveling on Interstate 84. The front left tire failed. The bus went down an embankment, fell onto its left hand side, and that's where many people were injured and two people were killed. The NTSB will be running what's called a parallel safety investigation. Investigation won't be determining the cause of the accident, but we'll be looking at why did it happen, how did it happen, and what safety recommendations might have prevented it from happening. Uh, John Hum, the investigator, spoke about various factors they'll be looking at, including safety equipment inside the bus. It's still too early at this point to know what uh, the seatbelt usage was um, for both the driver and the, um, the victims, the occupants. In the, in the vehicle, um, but that's something that I'll specifically be looking at, definitely. Investigator Hum did say that the bus driver was a woman and they hope to speak to her, t her very soon. You know, first uh, responders train extensively for these events, but they were really faced with a huge challenge on Thursday with dozens of victims, many of them dazed and frightened. I spoke to two New York State police uh, troopers uh, who were among the first at the crash scene. First responders say it was a scene they will never forget. The adrenaline began pumping on the way to the accident site. Every piece of hair on my uh, body was standing up. The goosebumps when you hear children. A bus down the embankment, um, debris scattered everywhere, uh, numerous victims, uh, EMTs tending to numerous victims. NYSP investigator Mark Whalen and trooper Jason Lewis say the situation was mayhem and it was their job to bring order to the chaos. Numerous children scattered around, the crying, you know, asking for the parents, just as I would do with my two children. I aided to them, I cared for them, tried to calm them down. Getting people bandaged up, um, just checking vital signs, uh, triaging was a big thing, uh, and then making sure they were, they were safely moved to a safe spot so they could be transported to the local hospitals. Many of the first responders themselves parents of school-aged children. It only added to their determination to aid the injured. Responding there was just, it was if my children were on a, on a uh, school trip. And, and I just wanted to make sure they all got home safely or to the hospital to be treated. Really universal praise for all of the first responders, dozens of them who rushed to that scene. We know that uh, from state police that there are still five students listed in critical condition and about another eight or ten still hospitalized. A total of 44 people from that bus taken to the hospital. One first responder who works for Empress EMS also needed medical treatment after suffering chest pains from the exertion of going up and down that deep ravine in order to reach the bus. So again, the NTSB is here on site running a parallel investigation to the New York State Police. They expect to be here five days to a week or so. Reporting live in Middletown, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Tony, thank you.